Hi. My name is, uh, I want to say Clarence, but my real name's Mark. I want to tell you a story about this thing that happened to me not too long ago. Back when I was totally delusional about drugs and alcohol, and I didn't really, I didn't really, sorry, my mouth is falling out of my hand. Um, this is a story about me working a temporary job. <laughs> I, uh, I worked at a, a hotel as a bellboy, and it was fucking sweet. Hold on, I'll be right back. There, my mouth is now in my mouth. So here I am, a bellboy, right? And I'm doing my thing. I'm taking people's shit up to their rooms. And and uh, I'm making good money, right? It's like $9 under the table. And I'm getting tips from all sorts of people from all around the world. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God, your hair looks nice. And then I got 40 bucks. It was pretty sweet, right? But uh, so it was a hair salon convention. And here I am, like, I can't wait to get off shift so I can drink and whatever, blah, 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 blah. I ended up finding these people that were like, yeah, you can stay in our room. And I was like, really? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it was awesome. And uh, so I finally got off shift, and I went up there, and there was, they were all eating pills, and they had so much booze. It was ridiculous. So much booze. It was so good. And so here I am, drinking, 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 drinking. I get really, really drunk. Somebody gives me a perk, and I'm like, whoa. We're feeling really good, right? I go down to the bar and I steal a pint glass because, well, it was the right thing to do. And so I, like, oh, I said it was a hair, hair, hair salon convention, right? So, like, there's tons of beautiful women there, but I'm the only man there. The only women that are there, I mean, the only men that are there are wicked gay. And so, like, I'm, like, prime cut for most people, right? So I'm running around looking handsome, doing my thing because, I mean, well, I'm wearing a bow tie first and foremost. And, um... What ends up happening is I get really, really drunk, right? And I go down to the ballroom because they have this huge musical thing. And uh, a bunch of girls are dancing with me, and I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm, like, double-fisted with Coronas in each hand. I don't, I don't have any arms, but I'm double-fisted. I'm drinking my fucking brains out. And uh, <laughs> so I go up to the room, and I start making out with this fat chick that I don't even really know. And it's, it's okay, but... Um, I end up getting really drunk. It ends up being like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I go up to the room, and I knock on the door, and I say, hey, can I come in? i got to sleep because I have to work the next day, right? And they're like, no, you can't come in because our, you know, like, because our necklaces are missing or some really stupid excuse. And so, um, you know, back then when I was young and reckless, like, my, my intentions were to just, like, you know, get laid and have fun, you know? But, so now it's 4.30 in the morning, and I walk down into the security office thinking they're going to know who I am. And they all kind of approach me, you know, getting ready to handcuff me, basically. And I drop a pint glass out of my jacket and smash it all over the security office. They call a taxi. I pay $70 to get from Marlboro to Milford. They drop me off. I ball up the change in the receipt, and I throw it at his face before I leave. I go home. I call him the next day, and they're like, yeah, you're fired. It was not one of the most memorable moments of my life. There's some other factors, but I don't really want to talk about them. It was definitely one of the worst things I've ever done. Most embarrassing. Most shameful. But, I mean, that's really it. But I'm okay with that, though. You know, today's different. People are good to me. I'm good to people. I'm good to myself. And, uh, and that's it, you know? So yeah, that was my confession. I mean, there's a plethora of them. I just don't want to talk about it anymore, really. Ugh, my neck's getting tired. I'm having a hard time staying in this fucking box. Ugh. I'm going to go talk to the guy that's sitting next to me. Love, peace, and chicken grease.